The very popular with soda modifies provided plenty of hot action down at Fountain City, Wisconsin this past Friday night. This unique track known as Tri-Oval Speedway has three turns. Turns one and three at each end of the front straight are sharp turns requiring drivers to work the wheels hard, while turn two is more gradual curve, allowing the cars to roar through it with the throttle wide open. Modified action was the highlight. Les Duhlman in the white number zero car gained the lead from his pole position. Lonnie Ernie of Corcoran, Wisconsin, pulled his 03 car into second place. Competition heated up when the blue number 65 power plant of Tommy Meyer entered the fray, and suddenly three cars established the early pace. Action slowed when a three-car pileup sent two cars to the pits for the night, number 50, Jimmy Davis, and number 11, Kerry Ledeberg. Duelman looked to be unbeatable as the green flag resumed the racing. Tommy Meyer used the inside to override the 03 car of Ernie. These two began closing in on Duelman when the yellow flew due to a spinout. Now a new car entered the picture. 22-year-old Bob Tim in the black 49 car cruised up on the outside of Meyer, solidifying third place. Tim, just coming off a bout with the chicken pox, was involved in that nasty crash we saw earlier in the show down at St. Charles. Four laps remain and three cars were as close as you can be in dirt track racing. Tim snatched second from the 65 ride of Meyer and stayed to the outside in his quest for the top spot. On the last lap, Tim punched it down as he stayed right next to the finish. Tim hit the line first, Duelman crossed in second, and Meyer was a very close third place. Even though there was a brief rain delay, the fans stuck around waiting for racing to resume. And the action did return, and in the Super Stock Division, local star Jeff Hoffer zoomed from the front row to the lead and would set the pace for the remainder of the 15-lap main event. Behind the leader, Hank Rollinger in the black number 59 machine kept a torrid pace with last year's track champion Troy Langowski of Winona. He's in car number 88. Langowski also finished third in Wissota National Points in 1994. He couldn't fend off the hard-charging efforts of hungry Hank Rollinger, though. Wissota Street Sox completed the program with a 10-lap finale. The top two rides pulled away from the field and dueled door-to-door -door for a couple of laps before number 86 crazy Phil Wernert overtook the double-zero car of Steve Goodenow on the curvaceous backside of the track. The Fountain City Trioval has had thousands of drivers race there over the years, but only one guy has competed in all 26 racing seasons. His name is Leroy Sharkey, and he's found a way to keep his youth. I think racing must be keeping me young. <laughs> and you race out here all the time, but it's not just this track. You've got a couple of others that you compete in, too. Yeah, Saturday night we go to Chateau Speedway by Austin. Sunday night, Dodge County Speedway by Casson. You keep pretty busy. You're racing the Modifieds all the time? Yeah, try to run three nights a week. My boy, Todd, he helps me out, but we still keep pretty busy. How have uh, things changed over the years here at the Tri-Oval Speedway as far as what you can, uh, you can see? Well, in uh, early racing, they had late models here, but when Wasoda started sanctioning the races, they dropped late models and went to modified, so I switched, too. You run uh, competitively as a modified driver. Uh, how do you like the class out here? Uh, I like the class. It's a little less expensive than a late model, and it's more local racing. I don't really like the long hauls. Would you... Uh when you, you make your weekends up and your summertime schedule, do you get a chance to see your family at all? <laughs> well, I work on, on the car right at the garage at home, so they're around there. <laughs> well, Leroy Sharkey is an institution over here at Tri-Oval Speedway. I'm Mark Allen here at the Dodge County Speedway in Casson, Minnesota. We were here for their opening night, Sunday night, and what a great night of racing it was. Super stock heat racing early in the evening had the Hilltop towing crew being creative with the car of 18, Brian Hernandez. But with some quick work from Brian's crew, he made it back for the night's semi-feature. The fans were out in force for the opening night, showing their support for all the drivers as we began the super stock feature. Dave Tradup in the 1T car took off to an early lead, followed by 3U, Barry Underdahl, and 94, Dean Hobbs. Moving into third early on was 37, Mike Hernke. So it was Underdahl and Hernke keeping a hold on their positions setting up a great battle for second, while Tradup kept his commanding lead. Hernke was starting to get anxious as he played bumper tag with Underdahl, 
Meanwhile, back in fourth sat the 70 car of Neil Eckhart, trailed by 11, Bill Moe. Tradup was a workhorse as he began lapping cars halfway through the race. Second and third positions finally got competitive when Underdahl and Hernke were nose and nose. Underdahl finally started pushing Hernke back and made him slide to the outside as he started to get passed by Eckhart as well. By the time they made it to the checker, Dave Tradup had utilized his commanding lead to win. In second, it was 3U Underdahl, and in third, 7E Eckhart, followed by Frolic and Larson. Dave Tradup jumped into his next ride as the Modifieds took the track for their feature race. The 11 car of Donnie's Wyville held the pole as racing began, and he wasn't going to budge for quite a while, despite multiple restarts. Early in the race, 19 Mike Sorensen and 49 Bob Tim slugged it out in the turns, but Tim slid past Sorensen at the line. Racing at Dodge County Speedway wasn't without incident, as a few cars tied it up in turn number three. After the minor spin out, it was sitting Zweivel in first, followed by Tim, Sorensen, Hobbs, and number 98, Stoa. After the restart, Zweivel was unstoppable, while our super stock winner, Tradup, and the number 4T car started moving up in the top five, only to spin out to 12th. At the checkered, Zweivel held his lead for first. The Champ Pan's Driver of the Week is Dave Trata. Dave was a winner of the Superstock feature at Dodge County Speedway this past Sunday night. A rough track did not hinder Trata as he led flag to flag. Champion racer honored by Champ Pan's, the pan used by Wissota champions. Congratulations to Dave Trotta for being named this week's Champ Pan's Driver of the Week. Here we go, race fans, Wissota Warp Speed. Plenty of racing action with Soda Country.